Hi, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this video I'm going to show you a way that you can use some alternative tools to the content aware move tool to actually get a really good result and often better result than the content aware move tool can give you. So if you've ever tried to use it before it can work quite well in some instances but you know, even with relatively simple stuff like if I want to try and move this cloud somewhere else in the sky. Um, for some reason the content aware move just doesn't really cut it uh, and it gives all these um, you know all these different kinds of issues um, that make it clear that something's been copied and pasted basically and it just doesn't look right. So I'll show you an example of what that uh, what that might look like. So I've just selected the content aware move tool and let's say for instance that I wanted to select this cloud and then move it to this side of the photo. So I can do that by clicking and dragging and then when I hit return Photoshop's going to try to basically analyze um, yeah, the, the thing that I'm moving and it's going to try to sort of paste it in and blend it with its new background and then it's going to remove the, uh, the object from its original background. So it's done that now, I'll just deselect and well, I mean the uh, the problems are obvious. Um, you know, the background uh, to that cloud is uh, you know it's sort of floating in its own little halo um, because the uh, the sky is brighter in this half than on the right hand side where we've moved it to. And then if you look closely, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this in the video, but there's also some dodgy lines in the sky here where um, you know where Photoshop's tried to fill in for. You know, fill in the background where we've uh, removed that cloud from. So obviously that's no good and it's going to take ages to try and clean that up with any kind of uh, you know with with cloning or anything like that. So I'll just reset the image and I'll show you another better way to do this. So I'm going to start off by adding a new empty layer and so this is already um, better than the content aware move tool anyway because we can do this on a new layer without affecting our background and I'm going to select the healing brush tool so the way this works it's kind of almost identical to the way the clone stamp tool works so what we're going to be doing is sampling the cloud so we're going to hold alt or option on the keyboard click on the cloud to sample it and then just like with the clone stamp if I start brushing over here then it's going to clone the cloud from the sample point and you can see the uh, the crosshairs moving around there as I do that on the original cloud and it's going to you know clone that in to where I'm brushing so the difference between this and the clone stamp is that the clone stamp would do that um, basically you know, completely duplicating the pixels themselves uh, you know from left to right whereas this uh, healing brush tool what it's doing is it's trying to blend what I'm cloning into its new background so it's going to adjust the uh, the transition and the color of the background and the brightness so that it's as seamless as possible so as we can see there now we've got that cloud and it's over here on the right hand side and as far as we can tell without really zooming in and analyzing this to the nth degree it's pretty much a seamless blend so if I just disable this we can see that the cloud has uh, you know successfully been put over from from the left hand side to the right hand side of the image now obviously the move tool moves the original uh, the original cloud so we can do that as well by well first of all I'll just hide our new cloud layer and now I will create another new layer in between the background and our cloud and this time I'm just going to sample the empty space in the sky there and I'm going to use that to brush and rub out the uh, the original cloud so yeah that's again pretty seamless now there is an alternative to that if you wanted to use the patch tool that works in a pretty much 
similar, you know, in pretty much the same way. Um, but you're just basically going to, you know, select the area that you want to patch from and then drag it across and drop it onto the cloud. The only uh, downside to that is that you have to do it on a pick <clears throat> on, uh, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> you have to do it on the layer um, that has got all of that information on it. So you can't do that into an empty layer. Um, so yeah, when we've got the uh, both of these layers active now, the first one is now hiding the uh, original cloud. Second one is showing where we've moved it to. So the uh, the only other scenario that the move the content aware move tool can handle that this method that I've shown you can't handle is if you wanted to let's do this again so I've hidden those two new layers so if you want to move it from its original place to like somewhere just um, you know not very far away from where it is originally so that it overlaps with itself now the content aware move tool can sort of account for this in one move now depending on the uh, the intricacy of the uh, object you know again here still we've got some dodgy uh, action going on here around the edges of this uh, yeah this patch that we've moved so that's still not great so what you can do instead is uh, well let's let's just run through it from the start again so I'll delete these two layers so let's say I wanted to move this cloud and I wanted to just put it just above the tip of the mountain top the first step that I need to do is with the healing brush tool on a new layer I'm just going to sample the cloud and I'll move it somewhere else in the image uh, just over here temporarily so that's okay and now I can again sample the clear blue sky and erase the original cloud and now I'll re-enable the first copied cloud that I created I'll add another new layer, a third layer and I can basically just sample this cloud over here and put it in to where I, uh, you know, into the image where I wanted it originally so where it is now that would have originally overlapped with the first original cloud um, so now I've done that I can just disable this first layer and there we go, hey presto so obviously this is an easy image to uh, show you this demonstration on because it's just one cloud in a clear blue sky but you know hopefully this will uh, give you enough um, ideas for how to actually yeah, in a more intricate example on your own images um, you know maybe this will spark some ideas on how you can actually get around these uh, these problems that the content aware move tool creates uh, when you're trying to clone or move something from one place to another in your image. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial and these techniques and you can use them on your images. Now if you did and you'd like to learn more, um, uh, you know, more tips and techniques and tricks just like this, um, as well as uh, take part in a whole number of courses on Photoshop and photography that we've got in the Photo Mastery Club members area, then there'll just be a link below this video where you can uh, go to sign up for the waiting list to join to become a member. So like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, in which case I will see you in the members area.